We're going to use cross loop today to show you how to transfer a file. Keep in mind we're already in session and this is just a tutorial to show you how to send a file to the remote user. I'm going to transfer an image over. Right here, I'm going to select it and just drag it over and place it in this folder right here. At that point, I get a prompt showing that I'm going to be sending the image. On the receiving side, this is what the user sees. As you can see, we're getting the name of the file and the size. At this point, I go ahead and hit save. Upon hitting save, I see a pop out that says, where do I want to save the file? I'm going to go ahead and save the file on the desktop. On the sending side, as you can see, you're seeing the file being transferred at the rate and how long you have remaining. Once the file is done, you'll see the done prompt on the sender side, as it shows here. On the receiving side, you see the received image name from the user, as well as the size and the transfer being complete. If you wish to view the file, you can hit open or close it and view it at a later time. This concludes our tutorial of how to transfer a file using cross